Hi everyone, welcome to season two, episode four of Mummy and Me Tutorials. So we have another unequal sharing question today. Yes. But? But this question is with three shares. How exciting is that? Very. <laughs> However, um, this question is not going to be like a normal unequal shares question where we have to assign a box to the lowest share. Mm. This question is going to show you guys the diff one of the different ways that unequal sharing can come for the SE exam. And it also shows you guys that it is possible to work with three shares. Yes. All right, so we can do it. Okay, so let's begin. Three. Rapunzel cut three unequal pieces of her hair. Piece A, piece B, and piece C. The length of piece A is three times as long as piece B. Hmm. If piece A has a length of 300 centimeters and piece C is 15 centimeters more than piece B, mm. calculate the total length of hair that Rapunzel cut. Okay, so what we're saying here is that piece A is three times as long as piece B? Yes. Wow. And then piece C is 15 centimeters more, more than, than piece B? B. So why did Rapunzel cut her hair though? I think she cut her hair because it was too long for her to manage and it took her a lot of hours to comb that hair. Right, that must have been tiresome. Yes. Or maybe her mommy told her to cut her hair because mother knows best. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so let's analyze this question. So we're saying that piece A is three times the length as piece B. So what you're trying to say is that suppose if we have an example and we're saying that piece B is two centimeters in length and piece A is three times the length of piece B, then therefore piece A would be three multiplied by two centimeters, which is equal to six, six centimeters. centimeters. Is that what you're saying? Yes, however, please notice that to calculate the length of piece A in this case, we multiplied, we used the rule of multiplication. Right, so now what about if we say that we know that piece A is six centimeters in length, we know that, and we want to calculate the length of piece B, and we're saying piece A is three times the length of piece B. Are you saying then that that is six centimeters divided by three? Is that what you're saying? Yes, because instead of using multiplication this time, we are using division because division is the opposite rule. Right, so once I know the length of piece A, and I know piece A is three times the length as piece B, then it'll be piece A value or length divided by three, because it's three times as long, three times as long, divided by three equals to two, two centimeters, centimeters. And that would give me the length of piece B. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay, I think I understand that clearly now. So, and you're also saying that in order to calculate the length of piece C, I need to first calculate the length of piece B. Is that what we're saying? Yes. <laughs> okay, I think I understand what to do. So what is our first step? Our first step is to calculate the length of piece B. How do we do that? Hmm. Well, piece B in this case is unknown. Right, we don't know the length of piece B. Okay, but what do we know? We know that piece A is 300 centimeters. Okay, great. So what do we do next? So just like we did in our example, mm -hmm. and we know that piece A is three times the length of piece B, we're using our opposite rule where we take the length of piece A and divide it by how many times it is than piece B. Okay, so piece A equals to? 300 centimeters. Hence piece B would be equal to? 300 divided by three. Which is equal to? 100 centimeters. So you're saying that piece B equals to now 100 centimeters. centimeters. That makes sense because 100 centimeters multiplied by three gave us 300, 300 centimeters. centimeters because piece A is three times the length of piece B. All right, what do we need to do next though? Hmm. Step two is to calculate the length of piece C. So now that we know the length of piece B, we can calculate the length of piece C. How? 
Hmm. Well, the question told us that PC hmm. is equal to piece B plus 15 centimeters because okay. it is 15 centimeters more than or longer than piece B. Okay, all right. So what do we do? Well, PC would be piece B, which is 100 centimeters right. plus that 100. extra, yes, yes, plus that extra 15 centimeters mm -hmm. and 100 plus 15 is 115 centimeters. Okay, so this is the length of PC. PC. So right now we know the length of piece, piece A, piece, piece B, B, and piece C. C. What is the question asking us to do? The question is asking us to calculate the total length of hair that Rapunzel cut. Ooh. So how do we do that? We know the length of three different pieces that she cut, but what is the total? The total would be to add all three of those, the length of all three of those pieces. Okay. So what's the length that we need to add? So the total length of hair the Rapunzel cut would be piece A plus piece B plus piece C. Okay. Which would be 300, 300 centimeters plus 100 centimeters plus 115 centimeters. And that would give us 515 centimeters that wow. you cut in total. And what did the question ask us to calculate? The total length of hair that Rapunzel cut. And did we answer the question? Yes, yes. we did. So the total length of hair that Rapunzel cut was 515, 515 centimeters. centimeters long. Bye for now.